It seems that many of the stories of Jesus' life could have been the last chapter. One may have said, okay, here is where the story ends, only for Jesus to move on. For example, many people born in Bethlehem lived out their days there. Perhaps he would too, or perhaps he would be killed there as a child. Some prophets went out into the desert and stayed there. The story of Great and Holy Week provides many such opportunities for a last chapter. The week began with the death of Jesus' friend Lazarus. After raising Lazarus from the dead, Jesus could have stayed in Bethany as a great hero. When he was entering Jerusalem, the people thought he would remain there as their king and free them from the rule of the Roman Empire. At the Passover meal, the disciples felt comfortable. Remember, John even rested his head on Jesus. They may have thought, this kind of fellowship should last forever. When Jesus was on the cross, some people were jeering, Come down off the cross and cause us to obey you because we fear you. Let that be the last chapter. And certainly at the tomb they must have thought, This is the last chapter of the Jesus story. Why couldn't we have ended at one of the previous chapters? They were soon to learn that if Jesus had not died and been buried, he would not have known resurrected life, and that his life was not the last chapter by far. Many of us would like to lock into one or another chapter of the life of the church. We may look back to a previous age and wish it would never have ended. Or perhaps we look at some discouraging facts of the present age and start to believe that this is the last chapter. When Jesus heard of the death of Lazarus, he told his disciples, let us go to him. The disciples may have remembered how joyfully they received his words, come follow me. But now, with a sense of defeat, they could agree with Thomas who said, let us go along to die with him. Indeed, let us go to die with him. Let us go the entire journey with him, for we know that the tomb is not the last chapter. And if we want to be there for the last chapter, we must stay with him through this one. As the angel told the women, Do not be afraid. Go quickly and announce. He has been raised from the dead, and he is going before you. You will see him. So we go forward proclaiming to the world, Christ is risen, indeed he is risen.